Hello, my name is Curtis Matthews, and this is my site, CEOLutions.com. What this site's about is my journey in building my own websites and how I'm doing it being an amateur. So this week I had an issue with a plugin on my site, wirelessconsultant.net. The plugin was called Elementor. I haven't updated that plugin in a while because every time I do, the site disappears. Don't know why. They want me to contact Elementor. I don't know how to contact them. I didn't put Elementor on my site. I don't know my username, password, any of that craps. So I said, ask WP Engine, my hosting company, to see if they can help me out. The only way I can communicate with WP Engine is by chat. I guess my uh, $300 a year hosting package only included chat. Well, for amateur, chat's not good. They tell you stuff by chat, thinking that you know what you're doing. Go to STF, FT, all that stuff, SQL, stuff like oh, whatever. Acronyms, I have no idea what it means. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I just know I can't go update it. They said, well, we'll do a development staging for you where you can go test the plugins. I still don't know what that means. So I said, uh, I'm not even going to bother with it. I haven't updated the plugin. The site's still working, whatever. The next day, I get an invoice from WP Engine for my New Year's subscription, which is 300 bucks. I was like, why am I paying them 300 bucks? I look at the package I have. Oh, I can get up to 25,000 visitors a month. If I get a couple hundreds, that's all I'm getting. It's overkill. I just, I moved it last year from HostGator, which I've been with HostGator for about 10 plus years. But HostGator had an issue with iNodes and my site was going down and they had no idea how to fix it. So that's why I moved to WP Engine on the advice of my web guy. So I contacted HostGator and said, I want to move back. They told me, fill out the migration form, did that. Then they told me I needed to change the name servers on GoDaddy. I did that. Oh, site disappeared. I was like, oh, what happened? So I contacted HostGator and they said, oh, you need to go and S or FTP your site up to HostGator. So download FileZilla Put a copy on your computer, put these credentials in it, log into your HostGator to upload the files. Did that. Then I got an email from the migration. In the meantime, when I was doing the migration, when I first filled out that migration form, it says, you can do it or there's a fee for us to do it. I've been asking, what's the fee? We don't know. What do you mean you don't know what the fee is? Oh, until we start working on your site and see how big it is, we don't know what the fee is. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I've been contacting back and forth. It's been going on for two days now, and in those two days, my site's been down. So when I asked them again what the fee is, I got the same thing. So third day, the site's down. I'm getting emails back and forth from them saying, oh, you need to do the SFTP user password this. And I was like, you know, I've been going there three times. I went back to WP Engine and said, look, I'm trying to get HostGator to log in. Can you create a username and password? Oh, go here and create. I did that three times. It's not working. So they did it. I gave WP HostGator the information that WP Engine provided. They were able to get in, but then they said, oh, you need to go upload some files. And I was like, oh, shit. Then I log into HostGator. And I see, oh, they changed the interface. Oh, look, they have a fee for migration. It's $149. And I was like, $149? If I'm going to pay you $149, why is it, this is the third, fourth day, and my site hasn't been done yet? Why are you sending me emails for $149? Why can't somebody call me and tell me, hey, log in here, push this in, press this, press this, and that's it. I shouldn't have to wait this long. Especially, they know the site is down. So I told them, stop. I'm going to hire a web guy and get him to do that. 
called them up. They said, okay, we put a stop on it. I hired a web guy. He got my site back up and running on the web. He, I guess, went back and changed the DNS on uh, GoDaddy, which I couldn't do. When I contacted WP Engine, they told me they don't have a DNS and I need to figure it out from GoDaddy. It was just stupid. It was just nonsense. So he did it, got it back on. So after I got it back on, he's moving it. He couldn't add it back to HostGator. The reason was HostGator has a site there somehow, wireless consultant, I don't see it in the interface, but he said, is getting an error. So I contacted HostGator. They said, oh, you need to email them and tell them to stop the migration. I said, but I called you and told you that. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to email them. So nobody told me that. Okay, I emailed him. Now, he said, you have to wait a day or so. I have to wait a day or so? Yeah, it takes him a day or so. So at this time, my site's up because the web guy put it back on WP Engine. But HostGator, I'm still waiting him to email me to tell him they deleted whatever they did or try to do so I can do it on my own. And that's where I'm at right now, but I'll tell you what finally the results will happen after it's done. So thank you.